Alright folks, SK Dale vs. Sky Racing here for Winners Finals. We're having another Machamp Ditto here. Oh my god. SK Dale able to get the shift. Oh my gosh, okay, the counterfeit's working out for SK Dale. The JX as well. Able to combo into a cross chop. Land that counterattack though. Sky Racing's gonna take shift. Able to react in time. Tom is going to snag, but not going to get the reset. And we stand. And we'll land the counterattack. Soak up that frog. Ooh, get hit by that last bit, though. Try to go for an air grab. And the 2Y and the 2XX will work out. Escadale's going to snag this first round. Bust out the grab. Lands the JY, not able to combo off it. Five, no, I'm sorry, four X Y will work out for Sky Raisin. He's going to activate burst. Goes for the burst attack, and that is going to land as he goes into an attack. Deal, able to snag that nugget for the sheriff. Lock in time. Oh my gosh, a lot of high lows going on there. Oh jeez. <laughs> the belly flop for the low stance. Alright, Rotom's gonna be canceled out. Both of them activating synergy. Goes for the cross drop. Oh my god! Oh my gosh. Alright, so Sky is gonna take game one. We're actually gonna try to run um, me and Pocano off stream, so I'm gonna have Paper Sack take over here uh, for the rest of the commentary. Cool. I, I get to come finish this off. Yes. Who is the? Oh, I mean, I, no, I mean no chat because we're in the middle of match, and that's that's not cool. What? So I just can't bringing out Chandler, who we haven't seen in like a decade, because this game's totally been out a decade. What are these? What? I see. I didn't actually see him pick the supports, but he wound up with freaking Magic Carp, which uh, isn't bad. It really isn't. Uh, yeah, um, spoilers, I think Escadale's screwed, because, yeah, yeah, he's dead. Uh, but sorry, uh, see, he used to play Chandelure, and uh, he at least knows the buttons, and apparently he knows how to stuff Machamp's uh, counter and into overheat, that's pretty stylish. Of course, uh, he's got to suffer from some attack deep or debuffs right now, which makes it a lot easier for Machamp to get in, I would think. Oh, double grabs don't work, because it will slow up. Alright, so Sky Reason, of course, showing that he is not a chump to zoners, he's a champ. Respecting these non-shipping projectiles, jumping over Willow, is getting into a champ combo, that's not enough to finish it though. Gets caught up in the combo dojo combo from Chandelure. If he gets the Frogadier, he's golden. Uh, he, actually, he's struggling a little bit now. Let's get Ale starting to catch him, but uh, yeah, now he's got a frog. Oh, but he gets Hex, is that it? That's it? Because <laughs> he's got a debuff. Good job from SK Dale. I'm sorry, I totally was wrong. He's going to win this. 
He's got this. That was incredibly close, though. If that didn't have a debuff, he might have been doomed. Ghosting through some projectiles from a champ. Smog going away. Safety zone going away. I activating smog. Good job, SK Dale, for setting that up. Fortunately, that move does not keep him low enough to dodge stuff yet. So it's still on the charge. For some reason, it goes into back X or back A. Sorry. Sky is using up his burst in a sort of a questionable manner. Now it doesn't have half as much pressure, but technically my chance pressure was always in grabs anyway, so we really didn't lose a ton. Like that! There's a grab! Going right through Chandler is like one of very few non-counter piercing moves. Disrespecting burst entirely by just waltzing up. Whoa! High stands working? That's pretty rad. Ah, oh my god, what is this? Crazy Chandler combos. Like prolonging the inevitable of him Positive. Oh my god, that would have. That might have. Oh, oh my god! So he missed the hex. And Skyrison continues to body slam SK Dale's really rusty chandelier in a corner. I swear he did the same move like five times, but of course, anti air can't get you with counter frame, so that didn't work. Let's see. Alright. So SK Dale's in quite a tough position. I'm kind of sad that I haven't seen him use Magikarp a single time yet. Like, I haven't even seen it come out. If he can get the double debuffs, he can do some serious damage, but it's gonna take a lot of effort. Oh, crushes the grab! Some YOLO moves. Still got an attack debuff from a champ, so it's pretty good news for him. He's actually got a nice lead going on, and now he's got the carp. Now it's serious business. Magic Carp come and put another debuff back on him. <gasps> oh, but Skarizen's not in the rage for it. Oh my god, Escadale takes a round! Some nice spacing, some tomfoolery from Chandelure, and I think Skyrim's playing a lot for fun. We're trash talking each other, it's a good time right now. I love free brackets! That just said, Escadale's stuck with Chandelure. We're seeing a switch of something, I don't know what it is yet. Um. Of course, you can't tell Skyrim what the Escadale's doing over here. Breaks and what? I mean, yes, yeah, Sky Reason was forced to play Breaks and for our reverse mains like a month ago. Maybe longer than that at this point. Yeah, over a month ago. But and uh, we know he's like the best Breaks in in the brat, not really. But okay, SK Dale knows the, the S word, which is smog, which keeps some of the stuff out. There we go, smog. Smog is great. It's not foolproof, but it's great. Anti-air! Chandler, of course, having one of the most, like, good anti-airs, keeping him super low on the ground. Working out pretty well, but, uh, that, that advantage was quickly lost because Sky isn't remembered how to combo into support with Brakeson and abuse Brakeson shenanigans. And he's in a really good position to just start taking advantage of Chandler. Tries to go for a yellow grab, does not work. Escadeo putting some setos back up. Sky is disrespecting all of them in a matter of one second. Guys are trying to get mileage off of 4x, but it is just not that broken. Now some YOLO hits are going to catch him though, so that's pretty even. Alright. Skadeo's good spacing. Sky Raisin almost getting combo going. Ooh, is Skadeo whips counter! This is so close, actually! Yes, he can totally bring this back. One more hit from either of them. Hex! That is not the range for Hex, my lad! You are too goddamn close. I mean gosh fargly close. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna notice the buttons of this. This hex distance is going to like hurt him just a little bit if he like whiffs this anymore. Just because uh, this is a match point for Sky Reason right now. This guy breaks in, I'm sorry. I just keep this in for Chandelure to be in. Okay, he knows, he knows. You just grab the electrode because you're, you're stuck in that animation way too long. He's always still got almost full burst to work with. So a ton of pressure on Escadet. Escadet will start his burst now. Is that gonna work? Because I think Skyrim's gonna push a button. No! And even if he did, he was shielding. This kid Dale says he's mad. I would be mad too. Boy! <laughs> Skyrim's been pushing buttons and fire spin does not help him one bit. This kid Dale not really doing a lot of Ogi options, which I will disappoint, but that's fine. Because he brings it back with that defense debuff is seriously helping out. That speed debuff is going to ruin overheat. Unfortunately, there's not much of a visual indicator that it was there. So I'm just gonna throw it off a little bit. 
There we go. Don't go for Hex right there. Go for... Because Skyrim was just trying to get out of there. Girl. So I don't think he would actually have been hit by Hex at that range, but... Anyway, he jumped. He got hit. We're actually on set point for both of them? Yes, we are. For both of them, actually. Skadeo falling into a Mulga, unable to get out. Fire spin actually catching because Skyrim isn't overcharged at this time. That... Uh, whatever... That... Pulling charge? Interesting hitbox. We'll catch that. Uh, overheat getting snuffed because he has a speed debuff. Uh, uh, Skyrison's uh, really commanding right now. It's a really good uh, position. He's he just needs like one more hit and he's got this. Hex is not going to reach, my lad. You are too. Oh, <laughs> that was a perfect from Skyrison. <laughs> and that's getting over there like top tier privilege. Oh, this is silly. I love free brackets. Anyway, Sky Breaks and we'll take this 2 1. <laughs> Oh, it is winner's finals? Alright, so Escadale is not stuck with Chandelure. Seeing some kind of switcheroo here. Alright, <laughs> this guy is just like heck. <laughs> I wish he could hear this stuff. Okay. Somebody help him. Is Gadeel, of course, bringing out his true main, Garchomp. He's the leader of the Nebraska Chomps, of which he's the only one, but he's the leader if there was more than one. Oh, accidental release, sex angrily. I don't know if we. Oh, no, okay, because his controller was wonking up so badly that I think he's using the Joy Cons right now. No, uh, yeah, he's using the Joy Con plus grip to do this. So, um, uh, say prayers and energy, whatever you want, for our poor lad who's using Joy Cons and a grip. To do guard jump combos. Sky Raisin coming, getting out of the corner. Uh, he's doing a really good job for, you know, just messing around with Brayson. He at least learned enough to get by pretty nicely. Let's get El showing no fear in this matchup. He's very commanding pressure right now. If he can get Umbreon, he can deal with some cutesy shenanigans. Race X deciding to use that to conquer anything that Brayson could have used. I thought he could have punished that with Umbreon, but I guess that's because I thought it was worth it. Keep Umbreon for another day. Alright, so Breakson's almost out of burst. Alright. It's good deal not releasing Dig like a person. Oh, a Sand Doom Rage combo. What will we see here? That shouldn't be enough to kill. That would be disgusting if it killed. It might. Nope, it's too much scaling. But it's it basically Escadil just has to play it safe. Or or he can disc into dig. That worked too. That works just fine actually. <laughs> he seems really scared for a minute. Calling out that last homing hit with the counter. Escadil will take field phase into duel. They can release X. Break in a- I don't know what that was supposed to be besides a counter from Breakson, but it did not work. He had a fully charged counter ready. Interesting reflect from Sky Raisin. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It, usually it works immediately correctly. Um, guess I'm curious why it didn't boof this Gadale away really far, but moving on. Still some funny neutral coming from both of them, as they both play very close range. Escadil trying to get in from Dig. I think he jumped up as soon as that Fire Blast came out. Uh, looking pretty even right now, this particular round. Escadil sitting on Burst, deciding not to use it. It's a lovely standard release exit out of the ground. He's got an Umbreon ready to go any second now. And skyrim has got Fennekin, the other Umbreon. Umbreon punishing a counter, or rather, preemptively murdering the counter. Escadil trying to get around Fennekin with the burst frames. It worked out pretty well. Breakson's incredibly short counter frames. Is this gonna work? Oh my god, that worked. I don't even know if this is gonna scale, but I don't think it matters because he. Es I, I, Sky Raisin's totally dead. He's got. Yeah, it's all gone. It's gone. <laughs> Fun. Fine, I hear. Okay, so. I'm- I think I know what's gonna happen now. No! What? 
What? He ha he actually willingly just didn't change and is still playing his breaks and, and we all think we're all collectively thinking he's <laughs> he's being stamped a breaks and made. We're gonna have to get him a sticker. It says I am a good breaks and main. Okay, so that was some funny whiffing. Sunny day, not hitting, and release X missing. Breaks and combos, racking up tons of face shit points and brings back the field and then back into duel. This game is finally making use of that legendary, what is that, JY that Garchomp has? It's like super fast, but at first it was too high to miss and you just zoom right over breaks and. What do we got now? This kid is, is no stranger to breaks and zoning. <sighs> the sky is it stops pushing buttons long enough to shield and punish Dig as it should be. <laughs> He's got a full city day going. Pizza cutter cutting the wrong way. And it's, he will take the first round very, very nicely. It's gonna probably tilt it sideways, but it's a free bracket. This is how we roll. We learn stuff in free brackets. We learn what kind of stupid things work. At least X not working, getting countered all the way through. But I don't think Garchomp has anything that could possibly pierce counter from that distance, so uh, it was a pretty good move from Skyrim than just to keep on charging it as he was flying. Not to mention, Brakeson's counter is just really fast and really good. As opposed to, I don't know, Weavile's. <laughs> anyway, so Skyrim uh, isn't, you know, commanding lead, but he's a pretty good healthy spot. Got full support with Brakeson needs. Full meter, Brakeson works well with. <laughs> Autocorrect, body again real quick. And putting his body in the corner. Try to get, give him breaks in a little bit of breathing room. Now Skadale's gotta deal with a burst, but he fears no projectiles when Release X has invincible frames. There we go. Pounding breaks it into a wall. Only a little bit of burst left. Grabbing before he can do anything. <laughs> Media's grab, I hear. Breaks only has one HP left. Now, all right, now he's gonna, you know, he's, he, he has to play a little bit careful, but he's still in a good spot. He just needs to do one more damage. Possibly, like, 30 if Skyrim gets any more HP. 10 seconds. Whoa! Goes under Faken with Dig. He says he do that, and I believe him, but I've never seen it before, because no one uses Fennec in here. It's kind of cool that he actually allowed that. I'm playing a song I know, and I really want to talk about it, but there's a match going on. Funny looking neutral going on here. They're giving each other a lot of space, a lot of time to do stuff. Got a uh, whiff breaks his counter, push and breaks into the corner, breaks and not taking Sand Tomb. Uh, it seemed like a pretty YOLO guess from Skyrim, but it worked. Okay, now he's gonna take Sand Tomb. He's just over there, like, fine. Okay, but see, Breakson's got Burst now and Fennekin, so she really doesn't have to fear a lot. Whoosh! This guy, of all things, has to fear his Burst running out at this point because it, it's just gonna go if you just use it. Alright, that's fine. Would, would he manage to do un unintentionally or intentionally? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not sure what that was supposed to be, but anyway, Breakson's about to run out of Burst because she just kind of sat there waiting for it. Umbreon's gonna make sure Burst runs out. So no more infinite sunny day from Brakeson, which uh, Skyrim didn't use a lot of because they were busy respecting each other. Rush from Garchomp, corner pressure, X er, manages to counter stuff. Is this going to be enough for Escadale to take it? There's only 13 seconds left. I mean, I, this isn't going to kill, but is this going to give him enough time to time out or something like that? Reflect, counter, bringing the back into a combo. Okay, no wall splat. I'm not actually sure he's in the lead because I'm not very good at math. Oh, okay, Escadale is by a pretty good 3%. Escadale will take this for realsies this time. 3-2.